dresses that I wanted to get altered um, as you can see it's just like a midi length um, silk dress this is by Lily Silk I love this dress so so much but I got it in a size medium because I wanted to fit my hips like very loosely as you can see like if it was a small it would just be kind of tight and I just didn't want that look but because it's a medium it is a little bit loose in this area let me show you guys the silk skirt that I want to get taken in or for the sake of just like wearing a shirt I just threw this t-shirt on um, as you can see this skirt is actually like really big again it's in a size medium but I love the skirt so much it's so pretty it flows perfectly um, and I just want to get it taken in at the smallest part of my waist but again there's just like this much space between me and the skirt so I do want to get that taken in so here are the jeans that I want to get taken in at first glance like they look like they would fit me okay they are just like slightly a little too long for my liking recently I recently did lose a little bit of weight and this waist is just a little bit too big I find that throughout the day um, these pants will start to sag and then I'll have like a lot of like this bit hanging out um, so I do want this these jeans to fit me like you know up higher and kind of give me that like I want it to give me that like mom vintage look okay so here's this dress when I tried it on a couple of months ago, I tried it on in this size, in an 8, and it fit me fine. Um, it fit me way better than what I'm looking at right now. I think I should have gone for a size 6. This is by Shopo. Again, um, all of the items that I'm featuring and wearing right now for these clothes, I'll leave links to down below. Um, but this dress is just fitting me wrong in all the places, like everywhere. Um, in the chest, it's just a little bit big. Um, and I, I guess I could tie it up a little bit tighter here, but I don't really like the length of of how kind of long it is. I do want to get this waist taken in just a little bit more, like right at my waist, and then I do want it pulled up just a little bit, maybe like an inch. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just something about this doesn't look amazing like I think it could look way better I think if I pull it up like that's the length that I want the dress on me okay so I just left the house switched cameras I've got all of the items that I want to get altered in this bag here I'm nervous about my Subi jeans because they're like I paid a lot of money for it and I'm just like nervous that they're just not gonna I don't know I like that he's not that he's gonna ruin it but I'm just nervous okay I'm just nervous um, anyways, let me go ahead and go to my car and put all this stuff in there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and, whoo, that's my lens cap. Um, and I will see you at the alteration place. Okay, so I just made it to the, um, area that the tailor is at. And I think, I think this is the tailor. Hold on. Let me make sure that this is the right tailor because I definitely came to the wrong tailor. This is awkward. The actual tailor that I was supposed to go to isn't far away, but I definitely just went to the wrong place. I don't know why I thought this, like, this place was here. All right, so we made it to the right place. Um, wow, it's a really hot day and I'm wearing full jeans. I only brought these because I wanted to kind of show him like a good fitting pair of jeans that I like. Okay, so we're here with Noah and he's a professional tailor. How long has this business been around? It'll be over, over 33 years. Wow, over 33 years. So he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. I'm in good hands. I mean, there's some beautiful suits around me. Um, we're going to go ahead and try on the items. I'm going to show him and walk him through the things that I want tailored and probably your own recommendations for me um, but I'm really excited yeah <laughs> hopefully hopefully you guys can see me okay yeah so um, a little bit loose okay, big over here yeah I love it okay so let's talk about the process um, I have never gotten like 
professionally tailored clothing because my mom works in fashion like I've gotten hems before and things like that but um this experience was incredibly professional um I felt like I was in really good hands which by the end of the video you'll see that I was he knew exactly what he was doing I put the clothes on and immediately he already knew like the areas of trouble that I was planning on hemming so everything that I said in the earlier clips of the video he had already like pointed those same things out which i think was really cool um again because you know your tailor is really specific to your location i'll leave links to um his business down below if you live in the los angeles area but um these are an extra pair of jeans that i also brought um which i did not try on beforehand but um just wait till the end to see the transformations of each of the pieces this one here i really really loved and even if the even if the pinning was slight um later on it really did make a big difference so i really appreciated his opinion and his his eye. I just finished up with um, with Noah. Noah, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. But I just finished up and for the first time I ever went to a tailor, he's so professional. He actually worked at like Paramount and did costume design for Star Trek, which is insane. Um, and he like literally designs suits and makes suits. So I just felt like he's so credible. He's been around for 33 years, which is crazy. Um, he offered me a cold water, which I really need to drink right now. My dad is just butt dialing me. Appa! Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. I'll give you, I'll even... My life is like, I'm literally a mess and a half. My life is in shambles. So it's called the Academy Taylor Shop since 1986. Amazing. A photo of Noe Montaya. Montaya, yeah, the designer. He was so 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 professional so good he like right when i put on the clothes he knew exactly like what was wrong what i didn't like about it what needed to get taken in and i'm going to be picking up my items next tuesday so this video probably won't go up until next wednesday um i was also thinking about my thumbnail and i was like i should have done a before and after photo um of what it looked like before and after but I might just take a picture of like the after clothing. I don't know exactly yet, but yeah, I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna go eat and I will see you guys in about a week. One week later. The jeans look so fabulous. Oh, you look beautiful. They fit so good. The hem is like exactly where I wanted it to be. And the back still looks really perfect. You didn't even touch the back. That's, I love it, thank you. It's the next jeans and these are what they look like. Fit, they fit me so well at the waist. Yeah, the color is really nice. Perfect, I love these. Here we have the skirt. It looks so much better. So this is the dress. We got it taken in at the waist. And it looks, oh my gosh, I'm falling apart. <laughs> it looks fabulous, I love the way that looks. This is the last one. It looks so good. And I don't have that same gap that I did in the beginning looks so perfect okay you guys so i just got home and i have all my items um i'll say a few honest notes like just last things i think all of the dresses and the nicer items were perfect i have nothing bad to say about them the the subi jeans they are amazing like these literally are so perfect they fit me so good the J brand jeans, it was a little bit kind of like poofy in the back, but I think that's because these pants in general are just really big. So if I were to get it taken in again, I would just have to like get the butt part like like this section here. Because like when you look at it, let me show you guys. That's what the jeans look like. So that's how he did his alterations by just bringing in this uh, these two lines. And in the inside, 
um, he completely kind of cut that off so it's not bunching or anything um, but because of this it makes because he's bringing the waist in it kind of like and the butt is so loose um, there's no way that you can really bring like the butts together because then it would start to look like that which would not be good. So I'm not complaining. I don't think I'm gonna get it fixed again, but this is just a little note on that. He did a similar situation for the Subi jeans. We've just got two um, stitches going down here and here. Let's completely ignore how messy my bed is. Like, we're just gonna ignore that. Um, but here's the skirt. Fits me so much better. This is exactly how I pictured on wearing it um, with something like this, just like a plain t-shirt and my skirt. I really love the way it looks. This is kind of a really easy outfit for me to wear with a pair of sneakers or to even wear with high heels. Um, so yeah, the skirt fits like amazing. It's not too, too tight and I still have a little bit of room. So for this dress, um, of course, you can wear it casually like I have with a t-shirt underneath it. You don't see that like bulginess um, that you did earlier in the clips and stuff. It fits me so perfectly and he just kind of slightly brought in the waist, which is really nice. I just quickly threw on a belt and honestly, it like really transforms the whole look. Again, you could just wear this with like sneakers or um, a pair of high heels, but this is like one really quick idea of how to style up like a silk dress. Okay, so that is everything that I wanted to show you guys. So my total came out to 118 total for five items, which roughly brings everything down to 23.60 um, per item. Now, when I looked at my breakdown, I saw that some pieces were $35 and then other pieces were like 18. So it all kind of like roughly averaged itself out to 23.60. I know, I know that that may feel steep for some, and I know that different tailors have different pricing. It also depends on the material what you're trying to get tailored jeans are typically a little bit more expensive if you're just hemming something it costs like I would say like five to ten dollars I think it just depends on the tailor but again I got a lot more done I don't imagine anything going above like $35 um, but because I brought all of these items like five different items and I did end up spending a little bit more money I do recommend getting things tailored that are higher quality or like things that you spend more money on like my blazers my dresses my jeans that I spend money a lot of money on so I hope that this video was helpful for you guys um, if it was please give this video a big thumbs up I had so much fun um, making this video and thinking of this video idea I don't think that this is the end of this kind Kind of series I want to do um, come with me to get alterations when I wear like more formal gowns and stuff because I do have a wedding to go to later this October so um, I do want to take you guys to get alterations when I get my my wedding like um, guest dress um, but yeah that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a big big thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel come follow me on Instagram to see all these pieces styled up and stuff and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!